was this magic moment by the drifters off of their 1964 album under the boardwalk uh we have two songs from the beatles from 1964 coming up against each other today and i just found out that that was released in 1964 and that's just one of my favorite songs so uh yeah that's why we're listening to that um short day today let's just go ahead and get right into it hi my name is bean and you're watching battle of the band we're on day 82 of the beatles tournament and we have two songs from A Hard Day's Night going head to head. If you're unfamiliar with the tournament, basically what we did was we took every single Beatles track, threw them into a single elimination style tournament, and then we make them battle head to head until we have a best song in the end. Um, today, we have You Can't Do That, which is track 12 off of A Hard Day's Night. And this is known as one of John Lennon's most upbeat rock songs. Uh, it's actually influenced by Larry Williams, who... We've heard them cover quite a bit, so we know that they love them some Larry Williams. <laughs> and that's going up against I Should Have Known Better, which is track two off of that same album, A Hard Day's Night, from 1964. Um, there's also a soundtrack to a film, just so you all know. You can watch a movie called Hard Day's Night featuring the Beatles, and all these songs are in there. Uh, this is early on in the, in the film, during a scene when the Beatles are playing cards on a train. Um, and it also appears later when they perform it live on the movie. And it's also one of the last songs to feature, uh, harmonica by the Beatles. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're also playing these songs backward with a bit of distortion. It's just to torture you. Enjoy. Here it is. You can't do that. Yes. 
Early John Lennon coming with some uh, creepy lyrics again. It's basically telling his girlfriend that she can't do whatever it is that she's doing because it's making him mad. Um, I don't know. I'm open I, and I leave you flat. It <laughs> doesn't mean he's going to beat her up. But, you know, overall, that was a pretty good song. Besides the lyrics being a little bit weird, that had a really rock and roll beat. Love the piano on it. Um, I think I heard a cowbell in there. Awesome. Good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and hear I Should Have Known Better. I always forget about that song. I really love the way that uh, John Lennon uh, sings on the the bridge. Um, like he, his range doesn't really hit where it needs to, and that's how it makes it sound better. Um, especially the the middle part. You're, I don't know. It's just really good. Um, super good song. Uh, both of those songs were pretty good. Like the uh, music part of um, "You Can't Do That" is probably a bit better. Like the piano in there was really really killing it. Um, but I think I'm going to give it to, I should have known better. It's just got, um, it's just got better lyrics for one thing. It's a lot less creepy and a lot less oppressive, uh, with how he approaches his object of his affection. Um, and I really love the bridge. The bridge really puts it over for me. I think just the way, uh, John's voice sounds on there. It's just super, uh, super sweet. It kind of has that like vulnerable quality. I like it. Um, well, that's it for the Beatles today. Uh, I've got social media if you want to talk about it. We've got Instagram, there's Facebook and Twitter. We're also on TikTok, so make sure you check us out on all of those places. I think we're still doing Reddit like crazy, too. I still get a lot of hits from Reddit, so thanks to everybody from Reddit. Uh, I do link the songs down below if you'd like to hear them without the backwards distortion mess I put on there. 
Um, that's up to you to do that if you'd like to. Um, I link the tournament brackets down below too, so you can listen to these songs individually if you'd like to. Oh, and you can listen to This Magic Moment by The Drifters in its entirety. Wonderful song. I also recommend the, uh, the Lou Reed cover. Um, maybe I should do those as a battle one day, but I really like them a lot, both of them. That'd be a tough battle. I need to get started on some cover battles or something fun for, like, some third stuff, you know? Ah, well, there's always the weekend, right? Um... Like this video if you like the video, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the idea of band or if you like the idea of bands battling themselves to figure out which of their songs is the best. Um, share the video with your friends and family, and uh, like I said, it's 420, so make sure you share it with your dispensary. Just uh, show everybody at the dispensary this video on your phone, then uh, tip them well. Uh, comment with your choice down below as well. Let me know which of these two songs you would have chosen if were you in the hot seat today. Me. I gotta get to work, so I hope you all have a great night, wonderful afternoon, and a fantastic morning. I'll see you when I see ya. Uh, that song, did I get that right? It's 82. Hey, it actually scheduled.